Okay, so this is going to explain how you get data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics into Stata in the form that we want it. Our goal is to get data in a nice column and have it formatted in a way that we can cre create a good graph. So I assume that you've gotten to this page here, www.bls.gov, web apps, legacy, cps, table1.htm. So go down a little bit here. I've already selected what we want. We want the unemployment rate seasonally adjusted. Um, and actually, let's get non-seasonally adjusted as well. We'll do both. So next step is we go down here and to the bottom, go to retrieve data. So by default, it gives the data from 2003 through 2013. In other words, the last 10 years worth of data. Go to more formatting options. Oh, notice this is labor force statistics from the current population survey. Uh, not seasonally adjusted. It's got all this information here. More formatting options. What we want is the data in text form. We can get it tab delimited. Uh, the original data value, all periods. We're going to select um, 2003, 2010 in column format. Let's do a multi-series table. We'll try that one first. Uh, retrieve data. Here we go. And not so good. Don't like it that way. Go back to more formatting options. Let's do it in column format. So we've got two series, retrieve data. And now we refuse the survey. Here's our data. Comma delimited. And notice that it goes, we've got these two series. This one's seasonally adjusted, the other one's not seasonally adjusted. What I'm going to do is simply copy all this stuff. Start from the top here. Copy it so that we've got it all. And I'm going to go to Excel. I hit Control C. And now I'm going to go to Excel and copy it in. So uh, let's see. I need to get an Excel file here. I'm going to actually, here's an Excel file. I've been working on this already. And I need to bring it in so that you can see it on the screen. There we go. So I did this before, but let me try again. Downloaded it. Uh, and I'm going to hit Paste, Control V. There's some problems with this. Uh, first of all, it's not in columns, but that's easy enough to fix. I'm going to select all the first series, which is about 120 months almost. Select this, and I'm going to go to Data, Text to Columns, and do Delimited. The delimiter is the comma, so comma. Hit next. We're done actually. So now we got the, the it looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. That's with the uh, that was the not seasonally adjusted. Let me select uh, let me divide the data for the seasonally adjusted. Here we go. Data, text to columns, delimited, commas already selected, finish. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my data in a pretty good form, but next I need to put it into uh, a form I can read in a table. So that's actually not so hard. I go like this. 1-1-2003, one, 2-1-2003, one, uh, Excel's pretty smart, so I'm just going to copy this down. Uh, Excel recognizes the pattern. It's got all this stuff here. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's the dates. And actually, being sort of, oh, we got a problem. Yep, we got all this M13 stuff, which I need to get rid of. So, uh, I noticed that because we got too many dates here. So if we look at M13, don't like those. All right. So, here's one possibility. One thing we can do is we could sort all this stuff. and sort it first by months. So I go to select all this stuff, go to data, sort, move this over here so you can see it. My data has headers and I'm going to take period as my uh, as my thing there and I get OK. Alright, so here it goes. 
basically what I want to do is delete all these guys all the 13s I, want, I don't want the annual stuff 13 stands for annual in case I didn't mention that so go to the home thing here hit delete and it's gone okay great gotta remember to do that next time uh, next I'm gonna have to resort this information so go back to data if I'm lucky no I better just select all this stuff here okay so let's resort it and we're gonna sort it oh I forgot this one sort all these guys and really I don't need the series ID but I'll get to that later so you go to data sort and what we want to do is sort by first by year and then we're gonna add a level and then we're gonna sort by period Hit I, okay so now this is what we want <sighs> let's see go back up to the top 1 1 2003, 2 1 2003. Double click, and now we got the dates correctly. Next, I'm going to put in, uh, you'll see this. Here's the date. Here's the uh, unadjusted. And it's going to go like that equals that. Okay, double click, got it down. Great, got to do this on the next one. So I hope repetition is helpful for us. So let's go here and we're going to do the same kind of work. We're first going to do the sorting. So data sort. Um, my data has headers, so it recognizes that I want to sort by uh, period. I can go from largest to smallest, so why don't we do that? Okay, great. So now, for some reason, I just have M12. Okay, I didn't notice that I didn't have the problem. So, wow, what I'm going to do is hit Control-Z. Okay, great. Um, and actually, it's notice there are no, no annual ones there. So, next, I want to get my series. I'll put in Adjusted. And these are seasonally adjusted and not adjusted. Go like this, equals. And here we go. Since it's all in the proper order, I can do this. Okay, now I got my data, and I'm ready to go with my table. So here's a table. All right, so here's the table, um, and we're going to go to insert. Oh, let's do. There are two possibilities. We can do both a line chart. Uh, let's try that one first, and we'll go like this. And wow, that's kind of cool. So there's a. There's a chart of, um, what is this, uh, seasonally adjusted and unadjusted unemployment rates. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave it to you to, to change the, the uh, labels. Uh, one way to do that would be to select each series. It's a little hard to do. Actually, I guess I'll show you, right? So we go like this. And what I want to do is click here. Uh, where did I write adjusted? Oh, I guess I put it here. It's unadjusted, right? So I click on that. Hit enter. And now it's chart down here says unadjusted. Then if I click on the second series, and now I want to put in here. Uh, that first element, that first argument in the series definition is, is the title. Hit enter. And there we go. Alright, so this is, it looks pretty good. Um, and let's see if I can't bring this up further. Well, alright, so um, then what you might want to do is pretty this thing up. So I got it up here. Okay, uh, let's see. So you can click on this and you can change format the axis and you should be able to change options like every let's go every 12 months. There we go. So I don't quite like that because it's a little hard to tell where things actually are. Um, uh, but I'm gonna leave it right like cool. Oh, let's see axis position and tick marks, blah blah. Tick marks. We're gonna put a tick mark in. Here's your time.
pipe outside. Uh, can we make the tick marks bigger? I guess the tick marks are right here. A hard to see. So we could put in a grid. Um, and ooh, the data axis. Shoot. Let's see here. Shadow. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that. Okay. So copy this, and the other option would be to make this a time series, right? A scatter chart. So I click on this guy here, and then I go to Design, uh, Change Chart Type, and make this a XY Scatter. Um, and I want to do, that looks pretty cool, uh, something like that. Uh, but, but actually what I'll do is do the line thing. Okay. So then uh, if we hit OK on that, we get this other chart, and the problem is that we now have to adjust the axes, and that's a huge pain. So actually, I kind of like this one better. So that's it for now. Uh, let's uh, let's stop.